Table fans, uh, just a quick update on the studio towel. Say hello. Hello. So um, we are, we're working on the vehicles now. So of course, for an army that's gonna be so huge. Oh, and by the way, we are looking for um, a client who is interested. You gotta make zooming sounds too. We're looking for a client who's interested in twinning this army, basically commissioning the same thing. And I've got some specials up for that that are pretty sweet. So anyway, so we were going over uh, like what, to, where to do what color. So on the devil fish, we're going to do charcoal and the vents and, uh, and the detail areas. And uh, I do believe that we're going to do the white and deck tan on the nose here. And then one of the little segments there. So it'll look, whoops, it'll look similar to uh, the piranha there. Uh, but I thought a little more white was warranted. Uh, now, our, our big conundrum is these little sensor nodes. There's four of them. We were thinking of jeweling those up like pale blue, but that might, that might be too much going on. Yeah, They're too bright, to these. too fast. Yeah, so we're looking at this guy. And in fact, could you take the camera? Because I want to just talk about this a little bit. Where are the little uh, magnetized pieces? They're right here. Okay, great. Right, right. there. So anyway, so ch check this out. This is awesome. So I heard that the that the uh, razor shark, which is what this is, isn't the awesomest. And because it has this quad ion thing on it. And you know, I, I'm still gonna play it because it's fun. But uh, what I did is I magnetized it so that it could be a razor shark, which is that, nice. really simple. And then it can have two uh, missiles, which fit underneath here. Can I do this? Yep, there we go, click, click. And, uh, or you can, you can take this off, tuck the uh, ion things underneath there, and turn it into dun 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 Wow! <laughs> A barracuda, in case you didn't guess what that is. So, and those get uh, two burst cannons on it. And uh, that's what you see is what you get, and also a fun little uh, alternate conversion there. Mm. And uh, a Barracuda is actually a really, 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 really good flyer. So for the town, um, not the best flyer that there is, but um, just a, a nice little bonus there. So anyway, so contact me. There will be, there's some information on the, um, in the liner notes about if you want to set up a twin, do it at the same time. Uh, project for this type of towel. We're very excited about it. We've got a little team of four people, including myself, going on it. Also, uh, so on, on this guy, what we're going to do is we're going to put probably half inch deck tan and white stripes here, probably on the back as well. And I think that will be, it might be too much to put them on the back too, but you don't want so much red. You don't want to be like overpowering mm -hmm. color. So um, Amber Lee's suggestion, Oh, and the oh, ochre, ahead. ochre, um... Like Tau numbers? Yeah. Like on the back of the piranha there. Let's see, yeah, like that. Yeah. Right, right there. Yeah. Well, and the, uh, the other thing we were, where else were we going to put them? Oh, you could put them on the leading edge of the wing, like right here. But and my so we argument sure. was line, line, but counter. Yeah, it would stand out more if you had sort of a cross element. Yeah. So anyway, well, that's where we're going. We are going to work on a little bit of that jeweled blue on here somewhere, possibly up here on this uh, cockpit window. So folks, thanks for tuning in and much, much more to come this week in BTP. <laughs> <laughs> Another person to look insane. <laughs>